Surprised you were up half the night. Well, Sydney was snoring again. Well, well, I didn't hear anything. But if it's a problem, we can always treat ourselves to that hotel again. That way you can get away from Sid and spoil me at the same time. Oh no, I'm gonna let the work. Well, I think about it, yeah. Drink this. It'll soon make you feel better. See you later. The only problem we've got today is the delivery from Holland. I'm still short of a driver. Ted Holland have really dropped us in it, haven't they? Too right, they have. And all the freelance drivers are busy. Try again. That's an important contract we can't afford to lose it. I'm on to it. Morning. What's wrong? Sorting out the mess the Tate's left us in. I must say I'm surprised at Chris. You'd think he'd at least act professionally. Just because he's got money doesn't mean he's got class. Not like you, eh? Yeah. I can't believe I'm so late. Sorry. Don't worry. Mrs. is off to the wholesalers. I only had to pop into serve once. Oh, thanks, I owe you one. Will you meet me after my exam? Well, I will at least you'll cover for me. OK, OK, but you can't keep using me as an excuse. We've got no choice, have we? Right, good luck anyways. It's agriculture. It'll be a walkover. See you later. See ya. I don't think I look poorly. You might be better if you didn't come in, lad. Can I have a coke, please? I'd just grab the chance if I were you. The lad looks peaky. I'm fine anyway. I had just the afternoon off. Do you know, it's all right for some, innit? I'd have to be dying before you let me knock off school. Might you come in? I suppose so. Look, you're shattered. Must be Captain Scott's knackered and all. Yeah, well, he tries to take on too much, does that lad? He's only trying to build up a business. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I know that all right. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing. He's... It's just that we're a bit tight, that's all. Well, I'm going in. It's just him fussing as usual. All right, can I have uh, three pasties, please? Firstly, uh, can I take an early lunch to check up on my dad? Yeah, that's no problem. And secondly, I've reorganised all the client files. Those filing cabinets were a mess. Well, we managed before. Well, I don't know how. I better go and do a stock check while I'm at it. I can't see Nicola and Zoe getting along, can you? I hope they don't, then Emily won't blame me when her best friend loses her job. Great. Let's just sit back and watch them make a mess of it. Sorry a bit late. Can blame him. He's been chatting up your Chloe and Kath again. <laughs> right, I'm just doing this one. Uh, no, this one is looking at first. The batch keeps going flat, so can uh, you check the ultimate? Yeah. So? Have you said anything? No, I haven't. Well, thank God for that. But I'll sleep last night. I'll be expecting the couples to come knocking at the door. I want this car ringing, knocking on the head. I will. Thanks for giving me a second chance. I don't want your thanks. Me and Mark, especially our Mark, could have got done for your stupidity. Well, everyone can make mistakes, don't they? Not as big as this. So what are you going to do? I'll deal with it. You can have a word with your mate, Tony. Grandad, give us hand with this. I'm coming, lad. I'll sort something out. You'd better. I will. It's just, this bloke is the sort of person you've got to approach right. I won't be taken for a fool a second time. You talk to him, make sure he's today. <sighs> Tell your husband to pay off his own loan. But it's in my name too, so that makes me responsible as well. When the house is sold, we'll be able to pay it off, but they want some cash before that. But we can't afford it. But I have no option, Phil. I've got to find it somehow. <sighs> Come on. Let's go to work. We can worry about it later. Now then, gorgeous. I'll have a bacon sarni and a tea, please. How's that fella of yours? Working like a dog. Well, at least he's making good money, isn't he? 
and I bet you enjoy helping him spend it. Too right. <laughs> Thought so. What else can a girl do? No, don't blame you. If you're not too busy deciding which frock to buy next, I'll have my bacon butty over here. Age before beauty. Try and be a bit more original, Nicola. There's a lot to be said for being a more mature woman. With it, you get experience, wisdom. Wrinkles, bags under your eyes. Well, how's the patient? Well, I haven't seen him yet. Perhaps he's hiding from you. You have been a bit of a fuss pot lately. Well, we're here now. Might as well show our faces. Rodney? Rodney? Dad? He could still be asleep. Can you hear anything? No. And your father can snow for England. Did he look all right last night, Alan? Yes, yes, he was in good spirits, too. No complaints? No, nothing of the sort. You don't think he's... Don't be a ridiculous, girl. We should go in. Well, he does value his privacy. Don't worry, pet. The worst you can expect is your father in his underpants. Dad? Ah. Panic over. Oh. Is that such a good idea? No! Not if he's looking around a load of fishing equipment. It's not. Mm, and sitting on damp grass. It could get on his chest and who knows what could happen. Care for a can of the old matcher, Rodney? Oh, no thanks. I've got my own. Doctor's orders. Hey. Few beers. Sound is the day's fishing. Can't beat it. You know, I haven't felt as relaxed as this in a long time. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but... Well, it's good not to have Diane and Nicola or Ashley and Alan fussing around. <sighs> I only had a minor heart attack. I would say I'm after my operation. I mean, you know what. Yeah, well, at least you were fussing round me like a mother hen. Did me Sweden. Yeah, they look at me as if I'm past it. I'm sure they'd be happier if I was stuck in an invalid chair all day. Well, the doctor said I should have fresh air and gentle exercise. Well, this is a perfect combination. Hmm, so they can't complain. But they will. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's no way they're ever going to find me here. <laughs> Come on, my beauty. OK, Diane, and you'll give me a ring as soon as he turns up, won't you? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. My dad's decided to go and sit on a damp riverbank somewhere. Probably doing it to get away for you. I heard that, but I'm choosing to ignore it. Ah, Mr Pickering. Um, we're running a little bit behind, so if you'd like to take a seat with, um, Tigger. Shouldn't Craig be doing something? I don't know, Zoe. will probably give him a ring when she needs him. So you've got me for a bit longer, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. What? I've told you already. In tray. To do tray, out tray. In tray, Paddy. In tray. Sorry. Thank you. Hey, up. The holiday maker returns. How was it? I really enjoyed it. I think you got your times mixed up if you're open to see Joseph. He's still at school. Yes. Yes, of course he is. <sighs> I'll make you a cup, eh? No, not for me, thanks. Oh, uh, um... Uh, shall I give you a lift back home, then? If it's not too much trouble. Well, I shouldn't bother with the vets today. No, I don't think I will. No, I don't blame you. I'm exactly the same when I come back off holes. Last thing you want to do is to start work again. <laughs> Look, sit down. I'll make you that cuppa. Yes. Yeah, maybe I will.
You're not that worried about Rodney, are you? No. Silly beggar's always up to something. I'll give you three guesses who that is. <laughs> hey, Nicola. I knew it was you because you've been ringing every five minutes. Yes. As soon as he comes in, I'll phone you immediately. Bye. Pint of orange, please, Diane. Right, your pet. But I need a driver today. No, no, forget it. I'll try someone else. OK, cheers. Still no luck finding a driver. Not a whisker. Mm, what do you need one for? Oh, Phil drives for the Tates. I can vouch for him. It's a pickup in Holland. How much? Cash in hand. But you'll have to leave tonight. Mm, why is it such short notice? We've been let down. Well, I'm available. I can leave straight away. Well, as soon as I've had my orange juice. I'll give you a little longer. There's a flight from Leeds at eight tonight. Yeah, I can make that. Just don't let me down. Yeah, I won't. Uh, we'll fit you in on Friday. Yes, Monty was looking a bit bold. Ten o'clock. Thanks, bye. Uh, you've just run the wool pack. Shouldn't you keep the line clear for clients to ring? Shouldn't you mind your own business? Give Zoe a ring on your mobile, will you? See where she is. Don't take orders for you. Oh, hi, Zoe. Great to see you back. Oh, uh, shouldn't Craig have collected you? It's OK, Terry sorted me out. Do you have a nice holiday? Um, Paddy's just popped out, but he should be back soon. Craig! Why don't you make yourself useful and make Zoe a cup of tea? And I can fill you in on what's been happening. I've got a lot of work waiting for me. Oh, no, I, and these are just the end of surgery. Time wasters, if you ask me. Good, good. Um, no need to worry, I've kept your day quiet. I'm here to make your life a lot easier. Here's the diary. Now, you and Paddy are now colour-coded, so you can instantly see who's working where and when. But you have a minute to yourself, eh? I'll go and check on your tea. Slot machines and the waltzers <laughs> made a bomb out of food. You'd be amazed how much money there is in candy floss and burgers. We had a burger bar. Yeah. yeah. Monday's munch box. You and me, we <laughs> we got so much in common. Oh, we have lot. All this time I've been in the village and I <sighs> never took the time to have a chat with you. You were too busy heading about. Yeah, I've had a spare minute. And I love a good day's fishing. Especially when you've got a tight trout on the end of your hoop. <laughs> ah! I couldn't give a stuff about Chris. <laughs> or the holiday park! <laughs> ah, I'm better off out of it. Yeah, that's why I went corporate. <laughs> You know, I've really enjoyed today. Let's do it again. Anytime you like. I've got all the charm in the world. Yeah. Look at those. Yeah, wow, well, you've uh, done a good job. Cheers. Here, love. Nip a glass of the coffee and get us all some dinner. Go on, it's my treat. All right, hold it. I bet you won't mind me driving around in one of these, eh? Yeah, one day, lad, one day. <laughs> I haven't seen you leave here yet. Are you supposed to have any having a word with your friend? Yeah, well, it's been busy. You know what it's been like today. Give me a chance. You've had all the chances you're getting. I, I will talk to him, all right? It's just not going to be easy. That's not my problem. <sighs> He's not going to be happy about it. I don't care. It was easy getting yourself into this mess. So get out of it. All right, I will talk to him soon. Never mind soon. If you don't put a stop to this, I might change my mind about telling Angie. You wouldn't. Try me. 
Here we are. What are you doing here? Well, this young man wants to thank you for the present you bought him on Halls. Yes, of course. Mm. You. You're welcome. It's lovely to see you. I'll, uh, I'll just hang about here. Why? Well, I'll take him back home. Chris will be expecting him. OK. You can log on whenever you want. But we can do that at Ollie's. Yeah, but here you can drink coffee and chill out. Yeah, my mum buys better coffee than yours. I oh, will see yourself then. Well, how did it go? It was dead hard. Well, you always think that. Yeah, and it's only your GCSEs. You want to try IS levels? Now they are hard. Yeah, but agriculture's the only one I want to pass. Oh, you will. Come here. Stop worrying about it, silly. Uh oh. Mmm. Thank you for bringing it. No problem. Come on then. Well, little bit. All right, Terry. All right, Paddy. Hey, Zoe. Hello, Paddy. I see everything appears to be running efficiently. Oh, never mind that. How was your holiday? It really helped, thank you. And you feel better for it? Mmm, lots. That's fantastic. I'm um, sorry to interrupt, but can I leave early? Only my dad's sort of gone missing. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work. Oh, my pleasure. Nicola's organised the route. I'll cover nights. Oh, great. So I'll be driving all night then. I suppose you will. Bye, everyone. Oh, I hope you've got a flask of strong coffee. I'll get you back. As if. Are you sure you feel up to it? Cos I don't mind, you know. Believe me, Paddy, I'm fine. So you can stop worrying, OK? Phil Weston. I checked him out anyway. Good man. So, we've no worries about tonight. No, I didn't think we would. Well done. Happy Wanderer returns. Dad! Uh, hello, girls. ta -da! Trout supper, anyone? Dad, we've been worried sick. I'm fine, Princess. I would like to know about your movements in future, Rodney. I left you a note. Carrying around heavy fishing equipment, it's not good for you. Hey, I did all the fetching and carrying. How were we to know you hadn't keeled over him with the bottom of some river? <sighs> oh, be daft. I kept an eye on him. We've had a great time. You're all fudging over now. He's been exposed to the elements all day. I've been exposed to fresh air all day, as prescribed. Look, I am not infirm. And I can still make decisions for myself. Told you there was nothing to worry about. Get the drinks in, Rodders. Yeah, a pipe for my pal and a fresh orange for me. And I'll not hear another word on the subject. Thank you very much. Nicola's impressive. Yeah, she is. Zoe, I really don't mind working tonight, you know. You made a good decision there, taking her on. Well, she sorted all the admin out and the tax returns are absolutely spot on. But I've been doing the tax returns. I haven't made any mistakes. Yeah, I know that. You think she's better than me? No, I don't. Yes, you do. But Zoe, you just said that you thought she was impressive. I thought you liked her. Not as much as you do, obviously. I, I don't understand, Zoe. We just... Zoe, wait a minute. Zoe! Do you have to go right this minute? No choice in the matter. I'm ringing sick for you tomorrow, then, shall I? Yeah, um, stomach bug, something like that. Oh, remember that one. I don't want to go to school. It's not the same. Anyway, we don't owe the Tates anything, do we? Bye, love. Bye. I'll see you girls tomorrow. All going smoothly, boss. That's what I'd like to hear. Can I get you another one? Uh, I'll have half, then I'll call it a day. I think it's really good to see that Ray doesn't take sides, you know, because you work for the Tates. Glad to hear it. Mm. I think if you got to know him properly, you'd really like him. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. You know, a lot of people misunderstand him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Because deep down, he's quite honest and genuine. Sure. So will you make the effort for me, Terry, please? I'll do my best. Any road, I'd better get off while well, I've still got a job. So is Zoe. Does she look more relaxed? Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? She was happy with all the changes Nicola had made. Mm, Nicola will be pleased. Mm, so was I. Paddy? Well, it's just that when I mentioned that Nicola had done a good job on the tax returns, then Zoe just turned on me. Really? Why? I've no idea. You don't think it were a nerves, do you? 
And it was the first day back after all. Well, there's more to it than that. You don't think she's still drinking? No, it, it, it was different. I, I can't really put my finger on it. She's definitely no better after that break, anyway. I saw Terry chatting you up. Mm, it was the other way around, actually. Oh, was it? Yeah. I was talking about you the whole time, though. And what were you saying, exactly? I was saying that people don't understand the real Ray Mullen. Present company accepted. Of course. Carry on. And I made Terry promise that he's going to make a bit more of an effort with you in the future. Don't look like that. Terry's my mate. I'd really like it if you two could be friends. For you, darling? Anything. Evening. Saw you in the pub earlier. You didn't stay long. Yeah, I was looking for Chloe. Funny place to look for your girlfriend when she works in the cafe. Well, we had arranged to meet there. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I need to, uh I want to have a word with you. Go on. Our arrangement. And I had to... I'm going to have to call it a day. Oh, yeah? I almost bought this on. Well, it's Len, you see. He's, he's found out. He's not too happy about it. <laughs> the old man? So get rid of him. Well, it's not as easy as all that. No one said it was going to be easy. You wanted the job and the benefits that come with it. I know I did, but it's too risky. It's no risk. It's running as sweet as a nut. All right, well, if I'm honest with you, I could do without the hassle. The hour's not suiting you. No, it's not, not the hour's. It's just not convenient. Exactly. Look, I want out, Tony. I'm sorry. You see, this little arena was working very well for me. I don't want to get somewhere else. I trust you, Scott. So, how about you go home and have a little rethink? I'll come back tomorrow, and you can tell me what you've decided. But for what it's worth, you'll leave when I say. Be careful what you decide. 